Hi, Cheryl. How are you? I'm good, George. How are you? Very good. I hope you're hungry. <laughs> Not that Better. I can feed you or anything like that, but, you know, get your appetite rolling. I'm just waiting for my director to cue me, George, and we can start. Okay, you bet. Am I going to go all the way through with this, Sarah? Am I going all the way through? Okay. Well, the weather is warming and summer's almost here. Chef George Duran joins us today with a summer entertaining tip. He'll share his favorite food recipes, tips, and more to make our summer entertaining party a hit. Hi, George. It's good to have you here. Oh, thank you so much, Cheryl. You know, summer, as you said, is almost here, and we got to fire up that grill. And with the heat of summer, I use the grill as much as possible, especially to make pizza. So this right here, check this out, bacon and pulled pork jalapeno pizza. I love to make my dough from scratch when I make pizza outside. And I, uh, I like using my Cuisinart Precision Master Mixer. It's a five and a half quart stand mixer that features a 500 watt motor, a die cast metal construction, 12 speeds, a tilt back head, even a splash guard that prevents messy countertops. It comes with the chef's whisk, the dough hook that I made the dough with, and the flat mixing paddle. And once that dough is kneaded inside of the mixer, you just put some olive oil on both sides, you grill it, and this is what you get right over here. Then you put your toppings on top, back on the grill until the cheese melts, and you got the perfect grilled pizza. What do you think about that? Do you set the dough uh, directly on the grill, or do you have to have a pan to put it on? Not at all. You set it directly on the grill. Make sure your grill is at medium-high heat. You add olive oil or nonstick spray directly on the dough, and then you grill it on both sides until you get nice grill marks like I have over here. And then it can even be cold like this, because once you put your toppings in, you put it back on your grill, the dough is going to crisp up, heat up, so is the cheese and all that stuff, including some of those toppings that I have there. But the secret is to make the dough from scratch, and you got to have a really good mixer to do that. And a good recipe. That's right. And I'm going to tell you where to get the recipes soon. But first, I want to talk about my classic favorite recipes for dogs in the summer. And it's chili cheese dogs and a mac and cheese dogs. And I made these right over here with Nathan's Premium All Beef Franks. With that iconic flavor of Nathan's, it's now available in your local grocery stores. And I paired them with these new heat and serve toppers. They have three flavors, chili, cheese, and onion. And you can make your favorite combination at home. These pouches are great to keep in the house, you know, in the pantry. Last minute, you pull them out, heat it up, and you just serve it right there on your beef frank from Nathan's. It's so convenient and so absolutely delicious. Because sometimes a hot dog alone just isn't enough. you got to have chili on absolutely. it. Absolutely. you got to have a quality beef frank to do that. And look, it's already made for you. you have the pouches are already there. But, you know, let's move on to burgers a little bit because that's another iconic meal for the summer. And when someone says burger to me, they say beef all the time. But I've actually created a twist to cure the sandwich right with these right here. It's a shrimp burger with wasabi mayo. The combination of shrimp and the zing of wasabi, it takes this burger to a whole new level. And everyone knows that great sandwiches start with great bread. And these buns are from cobblestone bread. Their restaurant-style buns let you bring a gourmet experience home with three flavors. They got sesame twist, toasted onion, and Kaiser. And if you're looking for something meatier with a burger and cheese, for example, I got you covered with the cheese with my friends here at Jarlsberg Cheese. You got to check out this ooey gooey goodness with my stuffed Jarlsberg bacon cheeseburger. These guys are celebrating for more than 60 years. They're based on the original Norwegian recipe. And, you know, the cheese offers a slightly nutty, mild, and delicious taste with the perfect meltability. This cheese is great to snack on, or you can even set up a little cheese platter like this one, a charcuterie platter for your next grill out. Are you hungry yet? <laughs> I'm always hungry, George. <laughs> well, with all these burgers and the dogs and the pizza, we cannot forget about the chips. And these are my new favorite right now. They're Lay's Lightly Salted Barbecue Chips, which pairs perfectly with all grilling foods. With 50% less sodium, these chips, they may be light on salt, but they're actually big on flavor. And to me, they taste just like regular barbecue chips. This is the first time ever, the first ever flavored lightly salted potato chips by Lay's. And they're actually available in your snack aisle at your grocery store. So really this summer, it's a great option for your next barbecue or grill out. A fantastic flavor. And as I said, these just taste like regular barbecue chips. They're fantastic. Cool. You know, my husband does a really good job of grilling outside. 
But when I try to grill, I have a tendency to burn things on the outside, and they're not really quite done on the inside. So what am I doing wrong? Well, first of all, you've got to regulate your heat. So if you're really burning things a little too much, lower that heat. Feel it out. Stick your hand in there, and if it's over one second that you can hold it up, you're good. But if you can't hold it in just for even a second under that hot heat, your heat is too high. It's better to work nice and low heat and let it cook for a longer period of time so you prevent anything from burning. And practice, practice, practice. There's nothing like practicing on that grill so you can really become a grill master like myself. And is there any way to keep the meat tender on the grill? Absolutely. What you want to do is make sure you sear on the outside first, and that pretty much encapsulates, it closes up all the meat around it so that all you have to do afterwards when you sear it on all sides, whatever meat it is, a burger or steak or whatever it is, all you have to do afterwards is cook it on a lower heat so you can cook inside of it to the exact temperature that you want it. So close up the burger or the meat with a heating, high heat, and then bring down the heat and finish cooking off the meat to your desired amount. So where do we go for more information, George? All these recipes and much more information you can find at dailylounge.com. Okay. Well, it was a real pleasure. Thanks for joining us today, and I hope you know that there's a there's a little big puddle of drool sitting here at my desk. <laughs> we got a cure for that. It's right over here. No worries. Thanks so much. Happy grilling. And we'll be back.